Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Fan of him. He seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this from a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faroin wants to poison you? I fear he has tried countless times and failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> ...unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Probably. Oh, no, we're back to this guy. All right. So. Yeah, we'll go talk to this dude. Um, oh, we have to just cross things anyway, so. We'll mark that. We'll mark that. See what you have for me. He's a big dude. All father favors you, A4. I would join in that glory. Sure, that's fine. Join your play to mine. Let's ring the sword song this day. Tassie the Lord Slayer. Okay, so we will fast travel here. Go do our little mystery. Then kind of just keep moving. Actually, I don't know. I think I'm going to do this. Probably go for another 15 minutes or so. I uh, that, that medicine does knock me on my ass pretty good. May cause drowsiness. Yes, it does. It certainly does. Is this a... Uh, Donation thing. I just ran to a chicken. Baldwin, my love beams bright, my heart. Go, Baldwin, my sweet, I'm here, I'm here. I even wrote you a poem, the kind you adore. Will you not listen? Your starry eyes are like plates, with stars upon them instead of food. Bertha, please, you simply do not understand me. Just leave me be. Yeah, Bertha. Are you here to steal Aldwin from me? Oh, but of course. His handsome face is a sight to behold. Troubles of the heart. I'm merely a worm next to a flower such as he. My words have not captured his fancy. He is immovable. You chose the wrong words. Listen to you. If you're such a poet, help me open the door to his heart. Give me a moment, so I will come up with something. Oh, 
Edwin, my sweet, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I even wrote you a poem, the kind you adore. Will you not listen? Your starry eyes. Here we go. Uh, my lord above, hearken, hear me. I am but a simple man with great ambition to brew the best, most potent ale across the land. But alas, distractions are thrown at me. Is this a trial god due to my dashing appearance? I fear I have attracted what seems like half the village. Please let them tire, for I doubt any understands my desires and will follow me in attaining my dream. All right, I found, figured it out for you. I think I know what to say. Let's hear it then. You say he's a brewer. Praise his skills at the craft. Aren't you a wise devil? Why didn't I think of that? Here comes a tale about legendary ale. So famous and delicious, it's the greatest in sales. It's drunk by kings and lords, devils and sinners. So good is its taste, it makes Aldween the winner. Those words about my ale are sung by a honey-voiced angel. Tell me, which of you sang such sweet words to me? I'm a man. I didn't compose it. I told her, I said she did. She figured that one out. I just told her to do that. She crafted those words and sang them out for you. I never knew you crafted such wonderful word songs, Bertha. Come in. I want to hear more. Thank you, friend. Take these trinkets I crafted for all the week. Seems I don't need them anymore. Let's see what's going on in his house. Oh, he just went straight to bed. I'm gonna loot his rope so he can't hang himself after he figured out that, uh, I figured that out. Historia de Cordobus Pathetic. <laughs> yes, I crafted the words. She merely stole them. Now, I could just sail there. It's actually really close. But yeah, I think I, I... I don't know. I might just not eat today. I had some raspberries. I've had some tea. I had a half sandwich. I just took one piece of bread and folded it over. It was lovely. Alright, so we will head that direction. Hopefully that gets uncovered. It's not going to, but hopefully it does. Run up the sail. Yeah. We're gonna do this part of the quest and then I'll probably call it here. Um just cause, yeah, I am I am getting very tired. We got floating deer. I did not get any of that. So there's probably something in there that I'll be annoyed with trying to <laughs> trying to find at some point, but it's not too far away it from anything. It's, camp ahead. it's no big deal. Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog. Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table, like dogs. Yeah. Farivid. Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Fadavid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? 
If I help with your fight against the Picts, Afton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Faramid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. A raider sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Nah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hoftan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faramid. I am here to fight Picts. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some Picts! Yeah! I have a feeling I have fucked up. More mead, fewer picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. Oh, well, well, <laughs> oops. of guile and ambush have a care yeah, I killed him oh god all right surviving that. I probably should have said something about him doubting me, or, uh, yeah, him doubting me, or, uh, half Dan doubting him, but I feel like that's just kind of giving away my, uh, my whole plan. And then I gave him my word. There's people on fire in here. Thank Thor we made it. That was good war work, old. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Okay. Adora. Wiccan's cave. How are they using this? My question. Come on now. Nobody in here. I, 
obvious dead guy. Alright, so where do I go now? Oh, I'm supposed to climb the tree. Alright. There we go. Thanks for telling me where I am again. And then little little parkour puzzle. Fairly easy. Except I messed up. I'm impressed that they're using this as a passage. Which is curse. Okay. You guys can read that. All right, so I'm fighting Scottish. Hello. I saw some orders, but I, I couldn't read them because I, everything was on fire for whatever reason. of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dead! Run! Stop them before they reach Stenway! They spotted us! Run forward! Faster! Faster! Ulf! Ulf! I could call the horse. Maze, I got him. Oh, of course. Almost a waste of time. I'm gonna get you. Oh. <laughs> We need to plan our next move. All right. Well, this is just going to be a fun walk. I missed whatever that tablet thing is, so we'll have to go back and grab that. I figured it would be inside, but it was not. God damn, they're fast. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking. I was looking down at my phone. Saw a uh, text message come through, and I was trying to answer that while I was running in a straight line. The Picts don't raid often during winter. All right. Well, That's I said I was going to call it here, but the Picts won't know we're here. Oh Jesus! The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the Picts dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. 
Okay, hold on. I got another message that I need to check. Oh. Okay. Sons of the Forest. Okay, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Find and kill the pick chief. Actually, I should probably go deal with them here in a minute. I, I'm going to go do that now. Got to go talk to them. Haven't talked to them in a little bit. So I will, uh, next time we come back, we will kill the pick chief. But that will be it for me for right now. I might play again tomorrow, but that'll be it. Goodbye.